Uh, this is episode three, I believe, of Two Garrets, One Game. We're going to be playing Boogeyman. So, uh, I guess we're essentially playing a little kid, and he's looking for Boogeyman because he's going to eat the kid's face off. So this game just describes my childhood. I ain't afraid of no Boogeyman. Hard. Don't. Fuck. What? Come on. All right. How do I use the flashlight? Is this the Boogeyman? Boogeyman Pov. Insta scare on the kid. I wouldn't be able to sleep if I had a crate like that in my bedroom. Right? This doesn't seem like a normal house anymore. Or maybe it does, I don't know. You've never been in the. No, docks? I've never been up in there. Yeah, because it's impossible. Or they're, like, so. Uh, weak, you just fall through it. Dude, I'm already like... Hey, I figured out which way was right. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not okay with this game. Ralph, edit that out. Oh, I think we could have, like... Shit, I oh, probably should have like, explored. Oh, items. Oh, what? So, okay. I imagine the doors... Door, that... That... Uh. Woo! I saw you, motherfucker. Which one is that? Oh, he's in the window. Window. On the window. Left. Whew. Good call. Flashlight's out. Is it? Yep. Shit. So what the fuck do I do? Oh, fuck. I can get up? Oh. Jesus Christ. Get out of there. Oh, my God. Oh, he was Whew. just there. Closet, closet, closet. Window, window. Door? Bye, look. <laughs> Every time I turn, that shadow fucking gets me. I heard something. I think that was the dull thing, talking. Why is it getting so dark? Where are you? I'm so scared right now. Not really. This is actually a pretty tame. Oh, that was a chair falling over, by the way. We just murdered somebody. Oh, well. That was convenient. Did you hear something? Yeah. There was like a, a scratching or whatever. Oh, I didn't even hear that. Huh. Deaf kid can hear better than the guy that can hear. I have my uh, my headset turned all the way down. Oh, Jesus. Don't fucking turn on like that. Whoa. Why is it, why is it glowing down there? Oh, sorry. Hey, buddy. She counted to ten. Good job. What is that? Oh, what the fuck? No. He's in there still. I see his hand. Oh. My battery's almost out. This is bad. So I'm taking my headset off. <laughs> it's all up to you now. <laughs> I don't... There he is. Fuck. Get the battery, kid. Go! Get the fuck out! Oh my god, dude. I don't like that that's open. No, that's actually really freaky. Uh, there he is. Ooh, darts. Oh, it's it's 2.57, I think. 2.59. Three. Three. I don't know what time I survived till. Probably like six. Is that a frog in the back? Yeah, I hear something. Oh, he's right there. Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude, being so loosey-goosey with our battery might, uh... Might come back to haunt us. Right. It doesn't look like it drains unless I click it at least. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I thought I saw something move to the left. Is it the shadow? No, I, it's okay. It was just a tree. <laughs> Now's not a good time, phone. Now's always a good time. <laughs> just look away. <laughs> you don't need to look at the bookie, man. Go away, motherfucker. Check time. Uh, 3.57. Four o'clock almost. Oh, shit. He's Close one. Ready for us. God damn. What? Why is there a phone ringing? Who gives a two-year-old a phone? Boogeyman here. <laughs> Have you heard the good word about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Hurry up. Go, go, go. Where's the fucking battery? 
Did I not get one? It's over. Give me my battery. Fuck. Come on. Oh my god. Dude, the luck. Boogeyman can be like. Whew. Now's my chance. <laughs> I feel like he hasn't come out of the closet yet. Dude, spoiler alert, it's not even the boogeyman, it's the subway guy that's just gonna jump out at you. <laughs> Jared? What the fuck is that? I don't I don't like this. Yeah, I don't see him. It's getting He's tricking us. Whoa! Fuck, dude. I don't <laughs> That that sound. Fuck hey, our there's battery. an owl out there. Our battery's gone. Oh shit. I got like one more click. Hoo 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 hoo! That's Al for fucking save me! Behind you! Behind you! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Al. Now's not the time. Yeah, you get out of here. Could you imagine having to do this every night? Dude. Oh, Poor yeah. kid. It's right there! Battery, battery, battery! Give me one! Game! We're done. We're done, so. Why can't I look under the bed? Jesus! Oh, saving. saving. Did we make it? Oh, we did it! it. Woo! Dude, this game's too easy. I was under the impression Ooh. that hard mode represented a challenge. <laughs> Next night? How many nights are there? I don't know. Infinite? <laughs> Do not go to the basement unless you absolutely have to. So, to the basement? I need. Why do you have to find your flashlight? <laughs> Kid's more worried about his sister than the boogeyman. Mom! And dad is sleeping. Mom! <laughs> the fuck? Dude, fuck my mom and dad. I'd be like, hey, wake up. Right? Door's closed. You can't open it. Or it's locked. What? Is that the basement? That's a vent. And vents are bad. What the fuck? Just go outside, kid. Playing the street. Every shadow, I feel like I see something. It scares the shit out of me. That's a wall. Okay. What? Why can't I open any doors? How am I supposed to find something if I can't open anything? Sister's away. Well, you know, how the fuck do I do that? Alright, well, game over. Right? Okay, that door doesn't work. That door doesn't work. That door doesn't open. Or does it? Am I doing something wrong? Are you pressing F? Oh. Uh, you have to hold it. <laughs> Turn the light on. I don't know where the light is. That's not a flashlight. But I do need some shampoo. It usually keeps you safe if you turn the light on. Wait, turn around. How do they do their toilet paper? Ooh, good Those question. Monsters. What the fuck? The original patent clearly showed. Did it really? Yeah, Is actually. That a that's yeah. actually a thing, yeah. Oh, that's right. Ah, that's a sister's room. Alright. To the downstairs again. Since now we know how to open doors. They just grow up so fast. Whoops. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> fuck, dude. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. The boogeyman just ripped a little kid in half. Hey, buddy, want a sandwich? <laughs> Do you think those parents would be like, we don't believe you, and then come downstairs one day and find their kid murdered and be like... It was uh, a burglar. Now. Don't go in the kitchen. <laughs> so that story was in, so let's try this one. Did it just close its... There He's he right is. There. God damn it! He's everywhere! He's right there! Every time the door like has trouble opening, he's in there. Oh, to squint? What are those? Pens? I got them, whatever they are. Nope. 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 I can't. Nope. I can't see. Oop. Is there someone that's on the stairs? No. Nope. Okay. He's there. Light switch. 
Close. Close. Oh, okay. Is he still here? Nope. Oh, fuck off. That's, that's not fair. Hacks. We have acquired the flashlight. Should All we right. keep exploring or go back to bed? We have to go to bed. He's just gonna be in the room. I'm like, what the fuck? Just get in the room. I'm going. Yep, yeah, go to my room. Whew. All right, full battery and I got stuff. What do they do? I don't wanna know. Looks like we have a tomato and two celery sticks. Everyone knows that. We can make ketchup. Jeez. Are you saying I gotta be careful under the bed now? Cause that's bullshit, that's where I get my batteries. I thought there was four ways he can get you. We've yeah. only seen three. We've only seen the door, the window, and the vent. So what the fuck's the force? The closet down there. Are you sure? Yeah. You fucking better hope so. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what if the boogeyman was just trying to give you a hug? This kid can't sleep without my hug. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> Oh shit! I didn't hear anything that time. The fuck? fuck? That shadow. So, what do you think makes me. a game scary? Uh, in this case, probably the jump scares, knowing that something's gonna pop out. Really? I think games like this really. What? That's not okay. That's bullshit. I think games like this, like, they do really well because of stuff like this. Mm -hmm. uh, door. Where they have, like, these little things that kind of mess with you psychologically. That's uh, a good point. And I think that's, like, why everyone's seeing this huge influx of, like, these... Horror games? Well, yeah, and the they're, like, low budget. Right. I mean, this is a pretty well done game. It looks pretty good. But I don't think anyone would be like, this is... Like, this is a high budget game. I think this is kind of a. What? Door? I don't know. I thought I saw him. But it, it like messes with you. It makes you think you see something or hear something or. Or throws like extra sounds in there. Throw yeah, you off. I would hit the, the closet real quick. There's, it's not doing anything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just like those little things that, that make you second guess yourself. Fuck, like that? Yeah. Where you'll like you'll see him or something and then mm -hmm. you'll feel like, God damn it. And I think games like this they give you literally no way to fight back. Like yeah, sure just, we can keep him at bay with the flashlight, but I mean Follow like in, the system and hope that the system fucking works. Yeah, in traditional like horror games or or high budget games. What the, the fuck? What? <sighs> That's not fair. But yeah, in, in traditional games, you have like a gun or an axe, or you have to go kill the thing that's messing with you. And this, you're like, I think it plays on when you were a little kid and you were scared of. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like what was hiding in the dark? The little shadow in the corner, or the what's behind this thing? Yeah. yeah. What I'd like to see is more games. Similar to this, only going more of the, like, tension route. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess kind of like the Evil Within, where there was always stuff, like, happening. Yeah. And there was still, like, a chance to beat it or whatever. A little know. different from, like, just general jump scares. I like games kind of like Amnesia, where you never really see what... Is, is like coming after you or we never beat that game either. no we, we need to go back and play that game right but uh it's a lot of like you just hear noises or you you perceive threats that may necessarily not be there yeah absolutely and uh, uh that's fucking happening again so I think it makes it easier for me to get up through there because we need to be really sensitive to hearing noises there um but yeah, I think it makes it like just that much more real, almost. 
Because, I mean, like, no time in your life, or at least hopefully you never have the experience where, like, you see someone in your house. Oh, yeah. That and, like, be... you're like, fuck, dude. Give me the fucking battery. But, I mean, I think everyone has a moment. Or... Can I? What's happening right now? I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. See, but, like, nobody really has those experiences. No. Like, nobody's ever had something just jump on them when they're in bed. But I think everyone's had an experience where they hear something or... Cat owners are going to disagree with you. They see a shadow (laughs) or something, and they're like, oh, my God. Whew. And, like, I don't know. I think I've told you that story. Uh, When I was at my dad's house alone that one night... Yeah. And, like, I started walking down the hall, and there was a shadow of, like, a person at the end of the hall, and it was just like, fuck... Right? And I just ran out in the front yard and hung out there for an hour until my dad got home. Yeah. But it was just like... And that's fucking ridiculous. Like... Yeah. Stories you hear. That's probably, like, the only time I've ever been like, I saw something. But, like, besides that, it's always been, like, a sound or, mm-hmm. or like, you feel like something's there. And like I think in the dorm like, at Eastern. Huh? Like in the dorms at Eastern. Yeah. So I think games like this really play on those, uh, those feelings, and that's what makes it really good. That was episode three of Two Gear, It's One Game. I don't know. Emily wants to play. It was probably still way scarier. Yeah, that's probably the uh, the game to beat right now. Right. Um, I think we really need to bring in people that don't play horror games. That would be awesome. 